There's a debate in Raleigh over who should foot the bill for teaching kids how to drive. A version of the proposed state budget cuts funding for driver education at schools all across the state. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from our Western News Center with tonight's reality check. So, Rex, who would have to pick up the tab then? Well, families of high school students and possibly taxpayers and the price of learning how to drive could end up costing hundreds. I'll get the stop sign. Go ahead and take a left at the stop sign. Okay. Evan Christensen is taking driver ed between his freshman and sophomore years at Tuscola High School. That's fun. He says the state senate is steering in the wrong direction with a budget that would cut driver ed funding at public schools across North Carolina beginning next summer. His message to lawmakers is a clear formula. Do not cut the driver ed because uh, if it would, that, that would mean less uh, m money for our state income. So less people driving equals less cars equals less money for our state economy. The state paid the full cost of driver education until budget cuts in 2011, and local school districts had to start charging fees. To be honest with you, the $55 is tough on some families. Ben Garner is Evan's driving instructor. He says if state funding dries up, the alternatives will be costly. I, I've heard some from some of the commercial schools, just when I went through my training, it's two to three hundred dollars per student is what, what parents are facing. That one here is pretty bad. Currently, we receive about $130,000. Uh, we have seven driver's ed cars and 11 drivers. Associate Superintendent Bill Nolte says the Haywood County School District opposes any more state cuts to driver ed. It's really going to be a mess if that passes. He says the cost of families would definitely go up. I'd say it's going to be over 100 for sure. Or local taxes would increase and safety would go down. And if our state really wants everyone to be trained to drive appropriately so we can have safe highways, then they need to fund it. The state budget passed by the Senate cuts driver education funding, but not the House nor the governor's spending plan. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.